hey Amazon sellers and other um, practitioners working on the Amazon PPC. Uh, so on this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to bid, make bid adjustments using the bulk files, the bulk operations in your Amazon advertising console. And we are um, in this uh, in this particular um, demonstration, I'm going to be using the new spreadsheet format. Uh, for those that are not familiar, there, um, I think it rolled out last month. There's a new spreadsheet format. This time it also supports a uh, sponsor display. Um, so if you want to download the old uh, spreadsheet, uh, you are going to click on this radio button. Um, and then yeah, that's uh, and then you're just gonna download uh, the spreadsheet, whatever version that you choose. Um, okay, so for this particular demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to uh, change bid, um, optimize your bid just using uh, the bulk operations, right? So uh, if you're not using Amazon PPC tool, which Seller Metrics is, uh, then I think the most effective way to bid manage would be um, the, the bulk operation right here. So you can see that uh, last sixty, uh, you can see the pick the date range that you want. Uh, the date range uh, I will pick is the last 60 days and then you can keep the default to exclude all these items and then click on a uh, download spreadsheet and uh, it will take you like maybe like five to ten minutes to load the report in which I've already preloaded right here let's uh, download it and take a look okay so this is the actual um, spreadsheet and um, what I like to do a lot of times is that I would uh, create another an empty spreadsheet this spreadsheet is uh, basically what I will use for um, the actual upload so basically what I do is that I would filter out the data from this particular spreadsheet uh, and then paste it into the, um, the new uh, spreadsheet and that one would be the one being uploaded. Because not all the time I would like to uh, be um, uploading, adjusting my base for all my campaigns. So I would pick and choose the particular campaigns that I would like to uh, make a bid adjustment for. And um, so you can see like, um, so first of all, I'm going to like um, optimize my uh, sponsor product campaigns and then I'll move on to uh, sponsored brands and sponsored broad, uh, sponsored display campaigns right uh, so first of all uh, let's uh, filter out the product that I like to optimize for and uh, they would be this product right here right so once you like filter that out uh, for the entity so basically the entity would be like the data level so it would be like a campaign ads um, negative keywords and also the keywords and product targeting so for this you only want to filter out for keywords and also uh product targeting only uh, in this um video i'm just going to do like the bid adjustments that's it so you could actually um do your bulk operations um by also negative keywords by adding negative keywords and also adding additional uh, keywords as well but we will not be uh, going through this in this video and that's probably a recording for another day it will be a very very long video if i talk about everything uh, here on the bulk operations. Okay, so once we filter this out, I think this is like data that we will be used, we will be using. So uh, in this case, um, what we need from here is basically um, everything up until this column, right? AG, right? The metrics, you actually um, do not need it to upload, right? But what you need for the metrics for it is to make your uh, bid adjustments. Copy this and then uh, put this into your um fresh fresh spreadsheet and then i like to rename it sponsor product campaign uh, so again if, if you actually follow my videos uh i like to use uh for this product uh and basically a lot of my products i optimize i like to use eight clicks as my uh decision threshold so if you um so i wouldn't make an update or downbeat decision until i reach eight clicks for my keywords right so anything that is greater than eight um that i would uh, make a bit adjustments for uh, so what I would do is that I would create a new column here, right? And uh, this is like the uh, optimal bid, right? And uh, this is like basically a column that I would use to replace this column Z here. Um, and then this will be uh, calculated based on the formula that I will show you right now. So uh, again, uh, if I were to show you uh, again uh, what my objective is uh, for my keywords, I'd like to have, um, you know, my target ACoS is uh, 40%. My uh, click threshold is eight, right? So I'm not gonna make a bid decision until I get eight clicks. That's what I'm saying, right? Unless like the keyword is so obvious that is not related, relevant to the product that I would like maybe uh, make a down bid decision quickly. But if I'm looking at just raw data, I will not uh, make a decision until eight clicks. So how do I do uh, work out the eight clicks? So a lot of times you can work it out backwards via uh, 
for conversion rate. For this product, it's around 20% for conversion rate. So if you work it out, you would probably need around eight clicks, eight to nine clicks to make one order, to make a sale. So that is how I work out the eight clicks. So if you go back to the, uh, the spreadsheet, um, after I filter out um, from the original bulk operation spreadsheet, I filter out everything as keywords and also product targeting, right? I would uh, copy and paste it into another spreadsheet in which I would make a column. Um, so this column is uh, basically um, my calculation column and I will use a formula, right? So if this is greater seven, you're gonna have your cost per click times your um, target A cost divided by your current A cost, right? And this is also in decimal places. But if the uh, A cost is zero, uh, you also need to uh, perform another formula for that. Else, then we just gonna keep the same bid, right? Or whatever the default bid that you have on your ad group. So if this situation was not greater than seven, you're gonna keep it um, at, um, at the current bid. So uh, what to do when the situation uh, is uh, A cost is like zero. So if that's the case, right, then you're gonna expand this formula right here. If this is um, equals to zero, you're gonna down bid this to um, say 0.6 and then um, else um, you are gonna AQ to, yeah, that's correct. Yes. Um, Okay, let me uh, restart this. If this is greater than seven, then uh, this and cost per click will be times, how you optimize this will be times uh, your target A cost uh, divided, by, um, divided by your current A cost. Right, and then if not, then it's current bid, right? But let's just say if um, the your order is zero, right? Uh, so if let's just start this. If this is zero, if orders is a zero, then uh, you're just gonna keep the same bid. Else, you're gonna do this uh, optimization formula right. So that should work. So you can see this one, it should um, change to 76. Yeah, I think it's starting to work. So basically in this case, it would be um, lowering your current uh, cost per click bid based on your target ACOS of 4%. So again, like the optimization, I think people have different, their different optimization formulas, but here uh, I have my own. Um, and then if you actually interested in formula, you can reach out to me. So um, you can see like I filter all the way down um, some of the bids that I will readjust. Um, so you could see um, the difference between the current bid and also um, current bid and also my previous bid. So you can see like these are the situations where you could, uh, where there are some like up bid and down bid, down bid adjustments. So in this case, uh, what I would do is that uh, basically anything that is um, so I don't need to upload everything. So basically anything that is uh, that has uh, not equal to zero, I would just delete. And then the next thing is that you're gonna basically copy over these optimal bids and uh, paste it as value into your bid column right here. Uh, and then I would uh, make sure that's two decimal places. And if from here, uh, you can just delete the row, the columns that I highlighted in yellow right here. And then, uh, yeah, I think you're basically ready to go. So these basically are the new um, bids that uh, you want to upload into uh, your ad console. Uh, and uh, you see these metrics right here, you don't need them to uh, upload. So you could uh, delete them off altogether. And then, uh, yeah, just save this file. Yeah, so I didn't really work out this beforehand, so I might uh, you know, come across some errors. I'll just power through it. So uh, you, and then at this point you edit your file. So basically what we did, and then uh, at this point you just upload your adjusted file, upload. One warning is that. 
and troubleshoot at the same time. Okay, operations. Okay, so okay, the spreadsheet. I think one thing that I forgot is that you actually need to specify the operations. Uh, so I think in this case, okay, done. Okay, so let's try it again. And there you go, it's finished, Bob's your uncle. Um, so I just uh, uploaded uh, 28 uh, keywords uh, just like that. So uh, yeah, bulk operations are a very efficient tool uh, for you to uh, do your bid adjustments. I, I believe like the new um, spreadsheet format uh, makes things more efficient, especially if you're um, using your, uh, if you're actually trying to optimize your sponsor display as well. Uh, and uh, you know, we are seller metrics. You could uh, basically do all that uh, much faster with our Amazon PPC tool. Uh, we allow you to do manual and also automated bid adjustments uh, with our software. So, uh, you know, if you choose to level up, uh, you can maybe look into our tool 14 days free trial as well as we offer a managed service as well if you're looking uh, for a full hands-off solution in your Amazon PPC. Um, so if you really enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And, um, you know, if you actually want to see more of these content, uh, please subscribe. And uh, looking forward to uh, for you to uh, catch our next video. Uh, we're looking to like uh, try to pop out um, these educational content on Amazon PPC and Amazon uh, seller re related resources. So stay tuned. Thank you.